Welcome to Currency Watch. This is Chris Keen from a keenpointofview.com. It was an interesting day in trading and it all kicked off in early Asian trading when the Reserve Bank of Australia lowered interest rates by 25 basis points unexpectedly and had uh, weak words about the economy and about the overall demand for raw materials out of China. It is, and this definitely indicated that there could be a slowing in the Asian region. I guess it confirmed the uh, belief that many traders already had. And this final pushed the Aussie USD out of the Fib range that it had been battling in for so long. As we had talked about many times, the top of the range was 0.382 and the uh, was uh, 104.48, 104.50 basically, and the bottom was the 0.68 Fib at 103.40. Then once the pair broke through this level in early Asian trading, um, the pair uh, settled around the 103 area, and then once New York trading came in, it, the pair did move, managed to move down another. 30 or 40 pips, and more importantly, break break below the 102.80 level. Now, as the cross can remain below this level, we could see a, per, a push even further down towards the 102.10175 five level over the next few trading days. It'll be interesting to see how the pair reacts to this level, and we'll have to watch the price price action around the 102.80 level to see if there is maybe a push higher or a push up and a bounce and a continued move back lower. Um, but I would definitely assume that the bias is for a continued move lower over the next few days. But that could all be uh, all be rearranged with the uh, with the tendency towards risk after we have the ECB and the Bank of England on hand on Thursday, and of course non farm payroll on Friday. And at any moment, we could get news from uh, Europe over Spain accepting an ECB uh, program. So you have to watch risk and its overall effect on this these uh, trading on this trading uh, scenario. Uh, the next pair we're going to look at is the Euro USD, because just because you can see the pair is still absolutely 100% range bound and the cross is trading between the 102.80 area and the top of the range is between 129.70 and 130. Uh, it would have to break above the top of this range and that would open up a move towards the uh, 131.70 level, but as long as the cross remains below this range, uh, we we could see a push back down to 128.20, but initially it would have to break so far the uh, around the uh, around the uh, lows for today, which would come in around 128.70. A break of that level could expose the pair to a continued move lower. The data flow out of Europe uh, is rather light tonight and in Asia. So once again, you don't have to watch the fundamentals. The last pair we're going to look at is the Great Britain USD because it's still trading an interesting situation. It tried to move up higher, tried to break up uh, towards the 162 level today uh, before it basically reversed its course dramatically and pushed back below the 161.40 level and now it's sitting right near the crossroad that we spoke about earlier in the week. Uh, the descending price, the descending uh, channel that's uh, is acting as resistance around 1061 and we also have the rate the rising um, trend line that the pair has uh, moved forward higher on over the last few uh, last month or so, uh, coming in exactly around the same area, around the 161, 161, 10 area. When the cross runs into this area, we'll more than likely get a reaction. Either it's going to have to make a choice to the top or the bottom, and it also seems like this will coincide exactly with the BOE uh, decision on Thursday. So trading should get should get a little bit more interesting, and we should get more trend line breaks in the near future. Uh, but we do have the Aussie pushing lower. You'll have to watch that, and you will have to watch also the effect that'll have on the New Zealand USD. But as far as that pair is it's still firmly in entrenched in this uh, resistance and support zone. All right, this is Chris Keen from a Keen Point of View, and this is Currency Watch. Remember to keep your trades keen and to play it safe.